Hey guys, so I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna go. I keep trying new setups and changing things a little bit to see what works best and what presents the best visual. So I am actively trying new things and trying to learn and it's a learning process and a learning curve and we'll see how that ends up making this video. So today I'm going to be unboxing my October Diamond Painting Club by Easy Win. The last time I did my September box and I got Halloween stuff, which is now very beautifully adorning my office. And I filmed some of that. So hopefully I can get it edited and posted either hopefully before Halloween. But we shall see because things are what they are. <laughs> So let's see what is in this September box. So far I have a letter and then, oh, this looks super cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull out all the fun painting. Where I gave you an inventory screen and kind of a screenshot of what's supposed to be in here and then also what my preferences were as far as square drills, round drills, and uh, uh, style preferences. Let's set these out of the way for now. Maybe they won't fall. We're all just gonna like cross your fingers and hope they don't fall. And I've set them in a precarious position. So we shall see. Oh my God, is this what I think it is? Okay, stop being distracted and let's focus on the unboxing. I don't know what this is and it's pretty cool if it is what I think it is. So this is a felt succulent kit. And Let's see. Okay, so all the felt is kind of punched, pre punched out, uh, or pre perforated. So you punch it like you would with a board game, you punch out all the little pieces. And then there's some cardboardy bits, make the little boxes. Oh my God, lots of beeples and bobbles and thread, and then some stuffing, and more beeples and bobbles of felt inside here. And then let's look at our instructions. So this is how it has the instruction sheet with it. There have been a few things that I didn't really get instruction sheets with. The easy whim, I have noticed on the bottom of the letter that they say, if you need a video tutorial, go to easywhim.com slash instructions. And they actually have it separated, separated, separated out by the craft and by the month so like i had never done string art before so i wanted an idea like i kind of knew what i was gonna do with the string art pumpkin but i wasn't positive so i was able to go on their website and like september boxes instructions for xyz and it had the instructions for that string art kit so i could get a video tutorial on how to do it now granted it wasn't the best video tutorial walkthrough it was basically like a person heard already pin hammered in the pins and then they tied a little knot and started going but from what i understand string art is kind of a make it your own thing anyway so i did that <laughs> and there was a pattern but it was kind of like a this is a little picture of the pattern so this gives me full instructions on what I'm going to be doing with the different things to make with the different pieces of felt and the string and beeples and bobbles to make this nice little display of succulents, which is a little weird because like right now we're going into winter and I think succulents are kind of like summer things, but I'm not positive. Um, and also like, I'm about 90% certain this comes from the other side of the planet where they are currently going into 
summer because I will never let them live down the winter mittens in July. This looks like another little storage cube. I've gotten one of these before. That's what I think it is. It's going to, yep, this is what I think it is. So it pops out, it's this square storage cube. There we go. Yeah, it has this pattern and the pattern's just on one side. And then you can put all your nice little things down in there. And then it has the drill kit and the drills down in there. It looks like they've also given me some tweezers, which I normally don't get and stuff like this. And then the gems are the shiny iridescent kind of ones. This is a little box. It has a design on the front. We shall unzip. Oh, it's another box. Oh, this one's super cute too. Oh, I love these. They're like amazing for traveling. Um, I have one right now that I got from a FabFitFun box that I am sitting in my bedroom or on my bathroom counter and basically the things I want the most go in it. I haven't seen one of these in person yet, but I'm kind of excited for it. Um, I have seen them on the Easy Win website and in like the email they send out being like get hype and it's a little animal that you color with diamond dots. Um, I'm not 100%, there's no kind of toolkit for this, which is a little disconcerting because I'm not sure, does this head come off? No, but they haven't given me a toolkit for him, nor do I have any sort of adhesive. He's not sticky, so I'm not entirely sure how the dots will adhere to him. I had to figure out what the deal was with this bear. So I went to Easy One's website and looked them up. It's a Popo Bee Bear, I guess is how you say it. I'm not positive, but that's what it looks like phonetically. Um, the small bear, which is the one I got, which is approximately nine inches apparently from the looks of it 37.99 guys this thing is 38 bucks from what i can tell from their website um and i looked to see what's included and it says one one bear one diamond painting set glue is not included so you do have to byog Bring your own glue. Um, they're kind of cute. I might pop a couple screenshots in here over myself so you can see like what they're supposed to look like when they're done. Um, I think they're only showcasing the bigger bears and not really showing the smaller ones. And apparently you can disassemble them. It looks like you, no, that's just a little dotting tool. I think, I don't know. It's a lot. It's a situation looking at their website. So then I was like, well, what is this? Because it looks like it's a thing. And apparently it's a big thing in the UK. I found a whole store where you can get these little vinyl figures. And they're like $6.99 British money, which I think is pounds. So then I converted that. So if I were to buy one of these British ones, I would spend $10. And I can get them in, like, pretty much anything I want. Like, I can get Jack Skellington, Spider-Man. Um, that's a Ronald McDonald, but it's really creepy, and it kind of looks like Pennywise. My nephew's super into Pennywise, and I find dolls and clowns terrifying. And there's, like, one with, like, a Union Jack, a camo one. There's, like, all kinds. Like, Batman, if you can think it, you can get a little bear. A little vinyl keychain bear that's about the same size as the one I got for like ten dollars seven pounds so I kind of peeked at the letter when I was looking for information on the bear 
and I know what this is. I have one of these um, already, and I wish I hadn't bought it. I don't really have that great a time with mine. Um, I might give it to my sister because she really wants one. But what it is, is a little vacuum. So let's see, this one might be better. It looks nicer than mine. All right, I broke it. Well, I didn't break it, but I took it off. I took it apart and now I can't get it back together. But it's supposed to come apart so that you can get the beads out. Um, that's supposed to turn on. I'm assuming, let's see, where would you hide the batteries? Oh, there we go. Um, two AA batteries. So I have those and they'll just go on the top there. And then this is a little vacuum. So if you spill your little gems, you could them up instead of fumbling around with them. That's interesting. It's neat. It's kind of cool that I got one in one of these packages. So that is all the bonus things. Let's get on to the diamond paintings. Let me pull them back up here onto the desk. So I've got one, two, three, small. I call them small, but they're 30 by 40s. And then two larger ones that are about 40 by 50 centimeters. And most diamond paintings are measured in centimeters. All of them will have square drills, as that is what my preference is now. So I'm gonna move the drills out of the way and kind of take a little a quick peek at the different diamond paintings and show them to you guys. There's a random drill on the desk. I don't know where that came from. So this, oh, I love it. Okay, this is probably getting done very, very soon. It is a dragon. And it's like a dragon up on a rock with like iridescent wings. And I love it. Oh, probably gonna unwrap that one. Because I was unwrapping small and I'm only unwrapping one because they're all square drill fields. So you'll get an idea of the drill fields on all of them based on the one for the most part. Um and this one's also really pretty. It's a wolf howling with like a cherry blossomy pink background. This is kind of like an abstract snow white. I would call this fairy tale themed in that to me it looks like an abstract snow white. Also like kind of the same glass win window, which I am here for. And this one is a red dragon on a strawberry and that's adorable um it's not my favorite of the ones I got this time but I do like it better than some I have received in the past now the final one is a white wolf cup in like the snow and it's so cute oh I love it so I really like this one. I do think, uh, okay, between this one with the Snow White Wolf, the fairy tale Snow White, and the Dragon on the Rock. I'm having a hard time deciding which one's my favorite. But I am gonna show you guys the Dragon on the Rock. I'm right. So let's bust out this bad boy and see what we are working with. We really thought I was talking to her. Um, my, one of, so not my boss, but my boss's boss at my new job, her name is Serena. And whenever I go up to her and say, hey, Serena, Siri thinks that I'm saying, hey, Siri. 
Now, I'm usually wearing AirPods, and I have it pretty much set up where I think Siri only listens when I'm wearing my AirPods, but I usually have at least one in at work all the time, even if it's paused, and she'll hear me, and she'll just be like, you rang, and I'm like, uh, no, I didn't, but okay. So, let's see. I, I struggle with this every time finding where the end of the tape is. You would think that I would be a pro by this time. I also think this is going to be a portrait design with a landscape key, which has come to be like a thing I kind of do. Also, I noticed while glancing through these and looking at them, this one looks to be a little more vibrant as far as printing goes than some of the ones I have received in the past. So this is all bubbly, but we'll pull it off and fix that. Yes, it is going to be going down the canvas in portrait mode. And this is what it looks like. Go, oh, that's a good focus. Ah! So that way you guys can see how the drill fields look on this particular canvas. This box has been pretty awesome. I've gotten some really awesome diamond paintings. Like I'm really impressed with the ones I got this time, which is not all the case, always the case. Cause I think last time I did an unboxing or the time before I was just like, this is cute, but it's not my aesthetic. And I am happy to say that all of these are both cute and my aesthetic, at least for the most part. And it's fun um, that I will get to do them. So I will get all this packed up and I will catch you guys on the flippity flop. <laughs> um, I'm still trying to figure out this whole ending my videos thing, but I will get this one finished and see you guys later. Bye.